Hi, my name is Melissa Barad, the owner of I Do Weddings in San Diego, California. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about wedding etiquette, specifically boutonnieres and corsages and who gets what. Uh, so there are a lot of rules that come into play uh, when you are putting personal flowers on your bridal party. Of course, the groom gets something to accompany his bride's beautiful bouquet and typically the attendants, so that would be groomsmen, also wear something small that complement both the groom as well as the bridesmaids and then moving more so into family. This is where it starts to get sticky, particularly if you have um, step parents or people like that that are a part of your family. Traditionally, fathers and grandfathers receive something um, as do usher, so the people that help your guests get down the aisle. Uh, moving above and beyond that, a ring bearer or a coin bearer would also receive something, but it is not mandatory. Typically, if the children are under the age of two, I would save your money and put that money elsewhere just because they won't wear it. Uh, and then moving more so into family, so that's uncles, godparents. Um, it really depends on budget and who you'd like to include. If you do opt for that, you have to make sure that everyone is covered. You can't just give one to your favorite uncle because sometimes feelings get hurt and um, godparents or your officiant if your officiant isn't wearing anything too religious where they can actually wear uh, a flower on his or her lapel is a great way to go then for the ladies uh, corsages are typically given to mothers uh, and also grandmothers and then people like readers or program attendants people that are helping out with the wedding same thing goes for the aunts women get a little bit more um, frustrated and hurt feelings if you don't have a corsage for them and you have one for all the other ants. So with all of these people, please, please, please make sure that you are labeling every single corsage and boutonniere where it clearly says father and listing the father's name and aunt and listing a name. So there's absolutely no confusion about who to give flowers to. Uh, and always order one extra of each. You never know who's going to say, well, where's my flower? Because if you have an extra, then you're all set and ready to go. I'm Melissa Barad with I Do Weddings, and we just talked about wedding etiquette and who to give corsages and boutonnieres to. Thanks so much.